tell me how it feels to be uh, a non-actual gang member now. It's it's back and forth because um it's a lot of dudes here that um know my reputation from the past. They look at me as I'm soft because I'm going to church now. I'm in these groups, these self-help groups, and, and and I'm just doing my time. I'm not messing up. I'm not getting write-ups to show I'm tough. And a lot of them is like, man, he got life. Why is he doing that? Um, he still ain't going to get out. But me putting all the energy into all the things I've done in the past, just looking back at my life now, where there's nobody in my life, you know, and I don't have a lot of people writing me. I don't have nobody to call. I don't have nobody sending me packages, sending me money and things like that. Then I get here in 2005, and um, just all the people that comes in here that care about people and want us to live right. And I don't know how to live normal. I only know the street life, and, and, and that's all I know. So coming here, being in these self-help groups, and, and just experimenting and networking with different people, working with kids, working with parents that lost a loved one in the streets, and different groups like that, it just made me want to be a better person. I can't just be stuck on being Kiki Loke. I want to be Marquis now. I've seen uh, uh well, well, well. <laughs> my uncle, Uncle Harry. Yeah, um. I've seen, uh, man, I'm real proud of this brother, man. Because uh, I've seen him come a long way, man. How long have you been since you've been here? I got here September 2005. Yeah, he got here about, I think he got here about, I got here in June. And we cooked up and uh, realized we was connected. You know, we had families out there that was tight. And you know, we came together, we started talking about different things, man. I, Sharing with him some of the things that I did in the past and how I wanted to make a difference. And then he talked to me about his situation. But to see him then and to see him now is like night and day, man. The brother that jumped in uh, uh, with all hands, man, all feet on deck, man, in terms of taking his life experiences and showing other people a different way. Because if he can change, that's what I see. If he can change, then you can change. I mean, that's the kind of thing he put down. I've seen him in uh, No More Tears. I don't see him speak at different uh, events. I don't see him volunteer himself to help people uh, see things different, man. So uh, I'm just really proud of my partner, uh, Kiki, Key, what Marquis now. I'm I just want to Marquee. say that um, I'm glad I, I want my homeboy Wally Gator family to see this because um, yeah. his brother got kids by the homegirl fam. And um, it's just a trip that I I would think he'd be walking around here bitter behind a lot of the things he's been through. But when he shared with some of the things he shared with me, I ain't been through half of the things he's been through. And it helped me heal. And I was like, but what about this and what about that? Man, you sure you ain't over that? And he was like, man, I don't been through this and this. I'm just sitting there like, what? And it, it's nothing that I never tell nobody. It just made me realize that here it is. I'm nowhere near on his level, and he's on the phone, and he's he's making it all right in here. Me, I'm the opposite. I'm in here. I'm broke. No packages. No, I, I ain't got much. And I, sometimes I just be on one because I put all of my energy in that, and these are the results I'm getting now. That's why I'm a gang prevention counselor now, and I have people like him in sharpening me. Sure, I'm able to talk around people like that that we can bring the kids in here so they can bring more kids in here than even the parents that have lost their kids in the streets. When they come in here, if I say something wrong or if they feel if I'm talking slang or whatever, I have somebody like Harry or some other people like them. They say it like this next time. That way they can understand what you're saying because when you're talking slang, you can lose them. So I love him for that and I just appreciate that I was had the chance to be in his presence and just him well, let me in his even space. Though, even though we might give you those corrections, what I appreciate about you though is the realness. 